Today we're visiting a farmer in southern New Mexico who grows lots of different kinds of melons. Hello, my name is Jesse Bustamantes. I've been farming with my parents. My parents started about 1960. I kind of followed up in the farming business with them. If I grow watermelon, cantaloupe, squash, chili, uh, cucumbers, tomatoes. We plant probably about 30 acres. The farm is located here in Mesilla, New Mexico. Let's go see what Mr. Bustamante has growing in his fields. Okay, so this is a watermelon plant. You can see the watermelon plant has long, viney stems. And it actually has tendrils on them as well. And these tendrils that you use to grab onto other things. And it likes to spread all over the place. It'll take over a big area, just one watermelon plant. You can see this is a watermelon flower and that eventually is going to turn into a watermelon, into the fruit. So here's a little watermelon, still growing. You can see how it comes out. It's attached with the stem end onto the plant here. And this end here is where the flower was. And that's going to get big, big, similar to the ones that Jesse's cutting up. This is a yellow watermelon. And this one's a little different. Look how big the seeds are. This melon tastes really fruity. You know, they're not as sweet as your reg the red meat. So this is another type of watermelon. You can see the watermelon itself looks kind of different. It's got stripes on it. And this one, instead of being yellow on the inside, this one is crimson or red on the inside. It's a really sweet watermelon. Look at the leaves on the watermelon. They're real big and they have a lot of teeth on them. And if you feel them, they're actually kind of hairy. They're a little rough. This is the same plant right here. Look at this, it's growing all around this huge weed and the watermelons are just right happy right here on the ground growing in the shade. This is called the Crimson Sweet. This is one of my most popular watermelons that I do grow. And this is a red flesh. And I think these are probably like the sweetest watermelon that we actually grow and most popular one. We're in another row of melons now. This is his honeydew row. And you can see this is a totally different kind of melon. It's not green at all. It's almost white with a little tinge of green and yellow on the skin. This one's almost ripe actually. And you can see it grows the same way though as a watermelon does. The leaves are a little different in shape. Look, they're not as skinny. They're bigger. Here are some honeydew flowers and those are going to grow into honeydews eventually. And this melon here is your regular honeydew. The flesh is a lot harder too. And the honeydews tend to be harder? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. That yeah. Too. The texture on it is a lot a little tougher than your regular cantaloupe. It's a little harder on the skin, I think. So here's another kind of melon. You all probably recognize this. This is a cantaloupe. You can see it has what they call a netted skin, which means it's sort of like a netting, and that's just natural. That's part of the melon on the outside. This area here is normal. That's just where it's resting on the ground. And see, it's just sitting right here. Again, attached to a very viney plant. And look, these are the cantaloupe flowers. Different color from the honeydew, but those will grow into melons also. And the same tendrils Wow, look here, you can really see the hairs on the plant. It's a very hardy plant, melons. This is called a, it's a melon, it's called a 45 because of the lines running through it. And this is a top mark cantaloupe, which they're similar to each other. One lasts a little bit longer than the other though. This, this one seems to ripen a lot sooner than, than your regular top mark. So, Let's see how this one looks. They should all be ripened. 
our cantaloupes have a lot more flavor than just going to a regular grocery store and, and purchasing there. They have a lot more flavor to it. Look how juicy the cantaloupe is. The flesh is much softer than the honeydew. This is a cassava. Um, this is almost like a honeydew. It's a white meat. And that's the inside of it there. And it kind of tastes like a cucumber. You can tell if you look at the, the seed, kind of looks like the cucumber seed inside the middle of the cucumber. Melons, cucumbers, and squash are all in the same family. They have similar looking seeds. So, how do you know when a melon is ripe? Actually, by the color is one way I, I can know when they're ready. But just by the tapping of the hollowness, with the ones that sound kind of firm like this one here, you can tell it's a lot meatier and a lot juicier than, than some of the other ones, you know. But that's how I can tell. With cantaloupes, they're ripe when they smell like melons. <laughs> it's very sweet. Very sweet and good. Juicy. I hope the melons you're tasting today are just as delicious.